Sam Thomas. I have the shop in Kettle Falls. I have a 72 C10 pickup with an LS engine. All right, from the ground to all the way up from where it is now. And it's cool to build it with my dad. It's a lot of uh, good memories. A lot of memories, I think, just because Colin was so little when we got it. Me and, me and Colin wanted to put together something to go drag racing and of course farm truck got us interested in using that particular style of truck and we had it for so long we thought why not. In the farm truck and wanted to make something a little bit different because we didn't want to be the same as him so we made the shop truck. Hey, I'm Ben. This is my first car. This is my 71 Suburban that I bought when I was 14 years old. And it, out of all my cars, this is my favorite. It's uh, two wheel drive, three door. I've done a lot of stuff to it over the years and uh, I'm really excited to get it back on the road because I miss this one. To be honest with you, I've probably met the most people in my entire life uh, having something to do with this car. I made all, a, lot of my, a lot of my friends for life back in the day when we were building this. Any kind of racing or cars, I, I love the mechanical aspect of all of it. I can appreciate street cars, rock bouncing, rock racing, hill and hole, mud bogging. Um, some I like more than others, but I can respect and appreciate all the different types and I'm happy to say that I'm involved in all the different types one way or another. And uh, that's how I'm building all my stuff as if it were my hot rod, whether it's to go get muddy and get destroyed or uh, to stay clean and drive on the street. I've built and I have lots of cars, but this one has some of the best memories and I'll never get rid of this one. This is my favorite. Well, I got, I got 10 Axletech axles I gotta get out of Oklahoma and nobody's calling me back to move them and I gotta figure this out quickly. My name is Alan, and I have an addiction. But drugs or alcohol have no part in my life. I've never smoked anything, never chewed tobacco, never drank a beer, though that doesn't stop me from having friends that do. Safety, respect, and responsibility doesn't mean that you can't have fun. We live in the inland northwest, a land of mud, rocks, and mountains. In my world, Larry is the delivery guy, and Jeremiah is the cable guy. We're a big group of people of all different types that share a common interest, and for the most part, all get along. It's like one big happy and slightly dysfunctional family. Regardless, I'm honored to share my journey with all of these people I call friends, and I want to share their stories with you. This is my life of big trucks and low bucks. Wow, that's a really annoying belt squeal. And before I burn more rubber off my belt than Sam did off his tires on the drag truck, I've got to fix this because I've got to go to Oklahoma. And looks like Texas too. But before I can go anywhere, I've got to get the trailer fixed from last week when it basically destroyed a wheel bearing and my hub assembly and brakes. may not be the belt, it's just the alternator. That sounds like the same squeaky one. I think it is just the alternator, so Ashton's helping me get that switched out. And I'm gonna grab a headlight from in the shop, since the headlight burned out on the truck too. Get that switched in, and we'll fire this up and see if it's quiet. That sounds a lot better. Now I've gotta come up with a match set of good tires to go on this trip, cause there's a lot of miles I gotta put on. This Suburban has a full matching set, so we're going to throw them on the trailer. 
And I'm going to throw out the parts that I messed up on the trailer last week. Next, I'm loading up this axle for Scott to bring to Hazard Fab Works. Hi, I'm Luke. This is Scott. We're part of Hazard Fab Works. We're a four wheel drive, off road, suspension, drivability, and fabrication shop located in Spokane, Washington. Yeah, our business is about 40% local, and uh, the other 60% come from all over the country. Yeah, the kind of racing that we've been been really involved in is Ultra 4. Ultra 4 is unlimited four-wheel drive racing. Um, today, there's multiple classes. In 2009, it was the second year of the race. There was like 50 guys in the middle of a desert. Um, I just kind of quit my job and started this thing and knew I wanted to be a part of this unlimited four-wheel drive racing. Yeah, that car is a 4519. It started life as a 97 Jeep Wrangler. It's in a modified class, which means it had to start as a vehicle. And it has to have a steering box, 37 inch tires, shock on axle car, can't be leveraged on the arm. So basically what that means is we have a super wildly built Jeep Wrangler. Um, 110 axles, coilover bypass, big horsepower LS, 4L80 transmission, 205 transfer case, Big parts all the way through the car, inch and a quarter joints, um, fiberglass dash, all custom race wires. It's basically a tube chassis car with a TJ cowl on it anymore. There's definitely a different look between an Ultra 4 car and a drag truck, but even they share a common bond. It's similar. Racing is racing. You're trying to be the high end. You're trying to put a bunch of horsepower to the ground. And whether you're on a smooth groomed course or you're in three foot whoops in the desert or you're in a you know, a mountain of rocks and waterfalls. You know, you're just trying to put the best thing you can together to go live. And I mean, any any guy that drag races is you got to go a quarter mile, but you're just trying to get the car to live. You know, and put power to the ground and go as fast as you can. So it's it's all kind of the same, and it's all that competitive edge, and you know, little things here and there. I mean, a, a sand drag or a mud bog truck. I mean, we share some parts. Um, you know, ours is a whole lot of different parts because we're trying to keep the tires on the ground, trying to keep traction to the ground, trying to keep it smooth so we can go faster. You know, a lot of a lot of mud trucks are tall, get them out of the mud, big horsepower to spend the tires to get through it. So it depends on the course what you need, but we spend a lot of money in uh, shocks and axles and horsepower, but also wiring and plumbing because we got to do it for eight hours. You know, we can't we can't make a pass and let the car cool down. We got to run wide open for eight, ten hours. So you, it just, it's different, but a lot of similarities as well. Well, that's it for this time on Big Trucks and Low Bucks. But when we come back next time, we're gonna fix my 2001 Dodge and get ready to go to Texas, where I'm gonna drop off a truck and along the way we're going to talk with some friends and find out what trucks mean to them, what axles they run, a few things like that, and also the rivalry between Chevy and Ford. And eventually, once I get to Oklahoma, I'm going to pick up 10 Axletech axles on my trailer and truck. I mean, what could go wrong? <laughs>